Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about Tom and Jerry. Normally, I would talk about what the show is, what it's all about, stuff like that. But in the words of my friend Alpha Lion Simba, you've already seen it. So what's there to tell? So instead, I'm going to talk about the history of Tom and Jerry. Next to the Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry is probably one of the most famous cartoon characters of all time. Everybody knows them. Everybody loves them. We've all seen them on Boomerang. We've all got the DVDs. We love it. Watching the series, some might think that this show goes back to the 1970s, or maybe the 80s, but actually, it started back in 1940. Created by legendary producers Hanna-Barbera. Believe it or not, this actually started off as an act of desperation, because before that, Hanna-Barbera made a whole series of cartoons based off of the Captain and the Kid comic strips. It proved to be a huge financial disaster. So disastrous, they had to come up with something quickly so they could bounce back. Barbera suggested that they try and do a cat and mouse cartoon, and they did it. The short was called Puss Gets the Boot. And at that time, they had different names for these two characters. The cat was called Jasper, and the mouse was called Jinx. Although, the mouse's name is not mentioned anywhere in this little short. It was a very successful little short, But Hanna-Barbera decided to do other cartoons for a while because the people at MGM said, haven't there been enough cat and mouse cartoons already? But the people wanted more, and so they made more. This time, they changed their names to Tom and Jerry, and it all went up from there. Hanna-Barbera continued to make the cartoons all the way to 1958. And during that time, they actually had help from legendary animator Tex Avery. New episodes of Tom and Jerry didn't emerge until 1961, where it was brought back to life by director Gene Deitch. When he took up the mantle of Tom and Jerry, he gave it a whole new look, a whole new animation style, and in my opinion, his version isn't really the best. In fact, I'd say it was quite inferior to Hanna-Barbera, mostly on the animation style, and the music just feels kind of subpar. It's like it's more dead air than anything else with a little bit of sound here and there. But it did keep the series of Tom and Jerry alive. His little reign lasted only for a year, from 61 all the way to 62. Obviously, nobody really liked his Czechoslovakian style of animation. And what can I say, you know, when you do something like that in an American country back during the Cold War, what do you expect? No offense to him, it's just the way it was. Then in 1963, the legendary Chuck Jones took over because he got fired from Warner Brothers and decided to start his own animation studio. And so he took up the mantle of Tom and Jerry. And those were some glorious years all the way from 1963 to 1967. By this time, the Tom and Jerry shorts moved from the movie theaters to television and they became a huge success. So successful that Tom and Jerry just keeps on going. Back in 1975, Hanna-Barbera took up the mantle again with the Tom and Jerry show, which sadly was not very successful. Then during the 80s, they had the Filmation era, which basically brought a new series called the Tom and Jerry Comedy Show and a few other spin-off versions. And now they're owned by Warner Brothers, who has the Tom and Jerry Tales. And of course, in 1992, Tom and Jerry got their first full-length movie, properly called Tom and Jerry the Movie which I will have to talk about sometime, but not today. Ever since this movie premiered, there have been a whole bunch of other films, mostly just movies of them being shoehorned in something, like the Wizard of Oz one that I've mentioned before, one based off of the Nutcracker, Tom and Jerry meet Sherlock Holmes, and Tom and Jerry and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That, my friends, is the entire history of Tom and Jerry up until now. What does the future hold for Tom and Jerry? I don't really know. Considering how famous they are, who knows? They could make some real good movies later on that don't involve them being shoehorned in. I would actually love to see that again one of these days. They might even make a better series than the Tom and Jerry Tales. I don't know. But I'll tell you this. No matter what comes around the corner, nothing, and I do mean nothing, will ever top the classic era of Tom and Jerry. I'm talking the Hanna-Barbera era as well as the Chuck Jones era. They will never be forgotten. This is Movie Fan. Signing off.